Uh, could somebody tell me what in the carnival and apparently the NCL is going on here? So for today's video, I have two clips that I want to show all of you. The first one involves, unfortunately, a brawl, a fight, a scrap on board a carnival ship. This actually might be the first one of the year. I'm going to show that to you, and just so you guys know, I'm doing this out of the graciousness of my heart. Because you see, here on YouTube, they demonetize every single video that I put about a fight on this channel. I typically put it on my Patreon However, I do have some announcements regarding my cruise news that I want to talk to all of you about. The second video clip that I want to show you is a situation that took place on NCL's newest ship, the NCL Prima. Now, I got to say, when it comes to this situation as well, it is kind of fitting because NCL has been going through some crazy times. And as they may say, when it rains, it pours. Now, before I show you guys the video clips, I'm going to make this very brief, but I have a couple announcements for all of you. It is cruise day for me. I will be going back on board the brand new MSC Seascape. So if you guys want any videos, I have reviews coming up after the cruise, and if you want to see some real live in action clips, you can check out my second channel, Jay the Nomad, the link for which will be in the description box below and pinned in the comment section. Also, for my Patreon, if you guys are not subscribed to my Patreon for as low as $2 a month, starting on Monday, I will be hosting a competition like I do every quarter of the year, and I will be giving giving away a free cruise so make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to that that will also be in the description box below and regarding the news i just want to let all of you know that here in 2023 between this channel and my other channel i am trying to expand and when it comes to the news i am going to be only posting news as needed i'm not going to go hunt around and search for news to put up just for the sake of putting up a video every day because i have my reviews and tips and all the other videos and all the other little giblets that go into making the videos i just want to up my quality and not so much think about the quantity so moving forward i do want to produce i want to say more so better quality content which means somewhat less videos but not really at the minimum i'm looking at at least every other day so just uh letting you guys know what's going on with that all right let's roll the first clip <laughs> So allegedly this scrap took place on the Carnival Breeze during a cruise taking place between January 21st and January 26th. I don't think much needs to be said here. We all know these fights need to stop. And, well, if you look at the video clip, you see somebody could have potentially gone over that railing and escalating the situation to a horrific scene that, well, nobody wants to see. When it comes to these fights, honestly, it does disgust me. I could never personally understand how somebody can pay hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for a vacation and then find something to get angry about, act like a child, and then decide to fight somebody. Personally, I always say, there are only a few excuses as to why somebody would fight on board a cruise ship. Somebody has slapped your mom or something of that nature. They've disrespected you to the point of no return. And, well, sometimes business needs to be handled. However, I'm not condoning violence in any way, shape, or form. I'm just saying we live in the real world. Things happen, but it's not something that people should be doing on a cruise ship. Now, Carnival has implemented a couple safeguards, which apparently aren't really effective. They're not working that well. Carnival says that if you do fight, you could face a fine of up to $500. I think it should be maybe 10000 to deter people a little further and potentially risk being banned from their line for life. By the way, do you guys see those extensions fall out? Talk about a wild time. Either way, let me know your thoughts on this scrap on the Carnival Breeze in the comment section below. And let's go ahead and roll that next clip for NCL. Oh, DJ, my heart sank. The minute I heard about this, I was like, DJ! The screen is fucked. Uh, the sprinklers just went, what? I'm here, not minding my business. Trying to tell other people I mind their business. <laughs> So like I said, this incident took place on the brand new NCL Prima inside the Prima Theater. Now this theater is a three-story theater that converts into a three-story Vegas-style nightclub. They say it's the first of its kind. 
However, it's literally what Virgin has been doing a couple years prior. They just kind of added an extra deck, even though it's not an extra deck except for the theater and not the nightclub. Anyway, I don't want to get into the whole mumbo-jumbo. But here's what's going on with NCL. I think this is kind of ironic because NCL has been going through it. If you guys have been paying attention to what's been going on with NCL and my updated videos, NCL has been doing some very interesting things like increasing the gratuity prices on board, the tips you'd be paying on board, also taking away some of the service and don't get me started on the entertainment they have been cutting back a lot of the entertainment many would argue it is justified because well we all know or maybe you don't we are somewhat kind of going through a recession but not really and the stock market is doing this and well i've made a little bit of money in the stock market i'll tell you that but either way you get my point here there's a lot going on and ncl has been making some cuts in the form of entertainment i always say that when it comes to budget cuts something i've learned by working for touring companies like the globe trotters and working at theme parks and cruise ships whenever there are budget cuts the first thing to go is entertainment ncl has recently cut half of their entertainment on the ncl joy other ships i have friends of mine that have unfortunately been let go or the positions have been somewhat suspended temporarily as they say temporarily whatever that means and well, NCL, they've just been kind of, you know, going through the ringer lately. It's been a giant circus as of late. Now, for all you NCL lovers, I know I sound a little harsh, but trust me when I say I mean no harm. I do like NCL. The go-kart thing is nice. That virtual reality game room they got on the Prima is nice. And, well, NCL is not my favorite line. And as a former crew member for NCL, I know about some things that go on. And I am a little biased when it comes to NCL. However, I don't hate them. I just think that everything that has been going on recently, many of you that have been kept up to date with what's going on with NCL would agree, considering the other lines haven't really been making a lot of these cuts and dropbacks and stuff. It's just, it's been a little much lately. And to see this situation take place on the Prima, I just think the whole situation is interesting. By the way, I just realized we didn't even go over what happened. So at the theater... I guess it was like the fog or the sprinkler system cut on by accident and it flooded the whole area and well they ended up damaging the LED screen inside of the Prima Theater. It has been a giant mess. I'm assuming they're going to get it fixed at some point and well I guess we'll have to see what happens from there. Anywho, a boo-boo was made on the NCL Prima and it's going to cost them a little bit of money to get that LED screen fixed and well, it is what it is, and I do apologize for being so harsh on NCL, not really. I just don't like seeing my friends randomly lose their jobs and everything. It, it's a sad situation, and of course, I gotta make light by some jokes and a little bit of shade here and there. We gotta have some fun here, don't we? I guess this is why I don't do the cruise news as much as I used to, because... People don't like it. They, they, they shoot the messenger. It is what it is. But anyway, guys, I do have a cruise. Just know as usual, I appreciate all of you. I love all of you. I know you guys have been really liking the reviews and the tips videos and all that stuff. Trust me when I say it's going to be a crazy year. At the beginning of next month, or sorry, beginning of March, I will be going to Antarctica. I'll be sailing with Atlas Ocean. So if you guys make sure you check that out. I have a ton of videos coming up there. And like I said, go check out my other channel, Jay the Nomad. Trying to get that to 100K this year. And I think it can be definitely doable as well as grow this channel as well anyway guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below by the way i know some of you are probably going to say in the comments maybe you want to know what hotel this is i'm at the eb hotel over in miami and it was pretty cheap overall if you want to kind of do it up it was like 200 dollars a night but this is also in January, non-peak season, but very, very beautiful. This is a suite. I got it for like 225 bucks. Not bad. Anyway, guys, just know that I love it. Appreciate you, like I said, and uh, I'll see you later. Take it easy.